what is like what is building what do you want people to do like how do we help bitcoin succeed how do we organize how do we actually create and build value around it rather than just sort of sit speculating and, and having it be an extension of you know just like another asset class yeah um so f first and foremost is you know th th this is why you know a lot of people call me like a toxic bitcoin maximalist and you know i i've done that case and i say yes thank you very much because i want to keep the fuckwits um out of bitcoin in, in the early days so you know, I, I have a very hard line about Bitcoin and, you know, I think that core hard line about Bitcoin being sovereign money and Bitcoin being an enemy of the state um, is, you know, fundamental. So, so, so we start with, you know, uh, producing content um, and educating people around, you know, what is Bitcoin? Because in much the same way, you know, you gave me the example about, you know, the nationalist uh, movement is like people, people converge around similar values, around common values, around a common mission. So, so that's what Bitcoin is doing in a far more decentralized, far more, you know, global manner is that, you know, we organize and we, you know, we build this narrative and the narrative from day one, like if you, I would recommend you look up a guy called Misha Popescu, who was, you know, one of the early, early, early Bitcoiners. And this guy was a hardcore motherfucker. Like, you know, he, he was, you know, talking like, he was rumored to have almost a million fucking Bitcoin and he wanted to, um, at some point, like he, he recently died, unfortunately. Now, I don't know if he faked his death or not, but you know, he, he was hardcore enough where he wanted to like, you know, at some point put together a fucking army and like, um, take down, you know, the, the U S government and shit like crazy motherfucker. So you, you've got, um, you've got this sort of backbone and hardcore, you know, Bitcoin core philosophy that sort of starts, but then what emanates out from there is you get, people who are fundamentally attracted to Bitcoin and Bitcoin only for some really profound reasons, which is mm. how do we save the world from fucking globalist morons? And how do we make, you know, the infrastructure in the world and society we live in more, I'm um, sorry, not egalitarian, wrong word, um, more sovereign um, and more robust and more decentralized. So there's a guy called, you know, who I think you should definitely um, interview. I can do a link up for you. His name's Joel it's on uh, Twitter at untapped growth. And what he's doing is he's building um, basically uh, uh, kind of co-ops um, where you can invest in uh, cattle um, for the regeneration of the soil, but also for uh, pulling food out of the control of centralized authorities. And, you know, who's he going to, you know, and most of his investors are all fucking Bitcoiners who want to have a renewable form of food over the long term so as you invest in the cattle you actually get a percentage share on, on the meat at the end of every year but you also get a percentage of the um a section of the cattle who are for reproduction and for growing and everything so the, the the three things he's trying to focus on is is food energy and money and if we can kind of build if we can build um you know pockets of uh you know more fragmented more decentralized you know uh, self-sufficient locales we can start to build what I call pockets of hope in a sea of shit, which is, you know, the, the whole world is fundamentally being turned to shit by a bunch of globalist fucking morons, whether they have it, um, whether they have an agenda or whether they're just fucking completely incompetent or a mixture of the both, it doesn't matter. That's mm. the direction we're heading in. So what we need to do is build these pockets of hope. And the people doing that are the fucking Bitcoiners, because what we're fundamentally doing is first and foremost, we're pulling our economic capacity, our economic weight, out of the other system. Yeah. So long as we're in the other system, we give it, we give it the subsistence it needs to exist. So when we come out of that, you've got productive people coming out of the system. So it's simultaneously starving that one and um, strengthening our one. And yeah. we build other things around the you know, intellectual um, circles. We build, um, you know, you know, energy infrastructure, food infrastructure, we, we start to get out of that. And, and that's the sort of the Bitcoin of Citadel meme is, you know, it's been going around for a couple of years is how do we extricate ourselves from the existing system? How do we build, you know, sustainable networks and, you know, co-ops and locales and, you know, potentially cities at some point to, um, you know, to, to, to basically rebuild as the rest of the ship is coming down. Like we yeah. need life rafts as the Titanic is fucking sinking. And, you know, that, that so, so, yeah, so, so that happened. the fundamental, like what we need for that though, is we need unconfiscatable wealth. We can't do it without unconfiscatable wealth. Yeah, so Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin essentially enables people, you know, groups of people who, who want to who who step out, who want to opt out of the collapsing system 
to operate with sovereignty because it provides that foundation of that yeah. economic foundation of, of money. And so anything yeah. that you want to do, anything that you want to build, naturally most of us want to get out of out of the system. Anything that you want to do, it just it just it, it it's 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 like a technology to facilitate stuff that you want to do anyway. That's kind of the thinking around it is you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You know that you can store wealth, you know that you can transact, you know that you can do stuff without the fundamental lifeblood of human existence being manipulated in such a way that it will yes destroy your plans take things in a direction that you don't want them to go it provides yeah so that's the kind of imagine that's, trying that's to build point, yeah right? mm. imagine trying to build like a competitive you know food network or a competitive um you know energy network or a competitive anything and the the powers that be just turn off your bank account <laughs> yeah you can't do shit and that's why like, it's good. You, that's why it's yeah good. exactly that's their step they're, they're, they're branching out of just censorship in terms of your, your Facebook account, you look what they did with Parler and, 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 and stuff like that. So it's what they're doing. So, you know, if, if we want to revolt, we need to have a money that they can't stop. Like we need to be able to, you know, we need to be able to build networks of human energy, of human action that can subsist outside of their capacity to shut us down, to control us and to manipulate us. And that, that's why I always say like, People are sitting here wasting money on crypto and wasting time and intellectual energy and capacity and everything. And they wonder why Bitcoiners are like so-called toxic. We're like, no, 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 you fucking idiot. We have a chance here to fucking turn the tides on this battle. Yeah. And you're fucking around with JPEGs and you think you're fucking innovating. You moron. Put the yeah. fucking energy here. Well, we need is, more fucking people. Yeah. And time is of the essence, right? As well. It, it absolutely is. Yeah. So it absolutely what, is. So... I guess that what yeah so what can the what can the average person do then so I mean I guess just even from an information point like get on get on Bitcoin Twitter like are there where where would you point people just so people can start you know people might still be skeptical and stuff like that but I think just mm. is there like a congregation point for people who are not interested in the noise and who yeah you know, like. I think that's what hands down Bitcoin Twitter is the is the is the point man you know like they get on Bitcoin Twitter like you know if, if you put my my handle in the show notes oh, yeah, people sure. like I've spent you know a lot of time um curating my following list now I got banned from Twitter um a couple months ago so you know I had a much better account beforehand but now like my new account is called Ghost of Svetsky so it's like a parody on myself um but I've I've recurated who I follow so what people should do is check out who I follow and that'll get you right into the noise. Sorry, sorry. It'll get you right into the signal and out of all the noise. And, you know, I would recommend, you know, if people are, you know, if they don't have a public profile, do it as a, as a anonymous because, you know, there's less chance of you, you know, getting banned and shit like that. I got banned because I was a public profile and I was, you know, speaking up against, you know, Corona and lockdowns and all this sort of stuff. And they finally fucking, uh, ban my account, the pricks. So, um, so you know, I, I would recommend people. You know, Bitcoin Twitter is one place. Um, you know, I have written a lot about you know Bitcoin's revolutionary aspects. You know, for a number of years now. So I would jump on some of the pieces I wrote. I think you know, to, to actually a couple of the uh, final points we were discussing. Like, I would strongly recommend that Jordan Peterson series that I started writing. So the first one is called Bitcoin Territory and Hierarchy. And it actually dives into the, the whole thing that we we're talking about, about locations, about tribes, about how human beings organize themselves naturally around hierarchies of competence. But the world has become deformed that we no longer have hierarchies of competence. We have hierarchies of fiat, which deceit. are fundamentally incompetent. Exactly. We have hierarchies of deceit, fiat, and fucking incompetence that yeah. don't work and that are eroding everything around us. Whereas, um, you know, Bitcoin enables hierarchies of competence because it puts hierarchies at the um it, it puts the specter of economic consequence right to the throat of a hierarchy and if yeah. you fucking do not produce you fucking fall um and that is the way it should be um so you know i'd recommend that kind of stuff and, and really just going into the philosophy of um bitcoin not so much you know like yeah it's all like I mean, I, I used to have a joke, which is, you know, we're changing the world and getting rich in the process, which, which is good. You know, like, you know, we, you, you want to produce, you know, you want to have a wealthy life and you want to have choices and options. But really, and more fundamentally speaking, like, you know, Bitcoin exists to be subvertive to the existing uh, state and to the existing status quo. And, you know, for, for anyone who, you know, understands the importance of actually putting up a fight, 
this is the one percent that's going to make 99 percent of the difference simple as that like the other 99 percent of the stuff we can kick scream talk and everything and that's important because we must do that but it's going to move the dial only slightly bitcoin will bankrupt the existing system and give us a chance to rise and the people i want holding bitcoin are the people listening to this show because you know we're the ones who need to increase our purchasing power to organize